Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers Season Replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the California Angels at Anaheim Stadium. On the mound for Detroit is Dave Rosma, whose record is 12-7 with a 4.50 ERA. And pitching for the Angels is Bruce Keeson, whose record is 14-6 with a 3.39 ERA. And so you see the standings here. We lost yesterday uh, brutally. Uh, the bullpen gave up six runs late, including uh, three runs by Keith Comstock, uh, the first real bad game of the season for him. Um, but our, if it's not Lopez or Capizello or Dave Tobik, every other player on the, in the bullpen has been terrible um, so we're in trouble we do get um pat underwood back in three games so that'll be a, a big boost uh, and then uh we're only four uh days away from the end of the month when uh the uh, rosters will expand and we can bring up some uh help hopefully uh but until then we have today's game let's go ahead and get started as always, I appreciate everyone who follows along. Like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. This is the kind of stuff we do every day. Try to bring you one game a day. And uh, we will be doing uh, season 1981 uh, when this season is over. I'll probably take about a month hiatus to uh, prep the game. And then uh, we'll get started with 1981, which of course was uh, a strike shortened year. And we will be playing the appropriate amount of games, uh, you know, to kind of make it equal with uh, what history, um, you know, detailed. So we'll see how that turns out. At any rate, here's the bullpen. Uh, Andy Replogle will not be available. Uh, he gave up three runs in two innings yesterday. So uh, everyone else is available. And I've decided to do something that may be a mistake in the long run as we face a righty Bruce Keeson. Uh, I have two Tigers who are listed who are listed as tired, but I think from here on out, I don't care if you're tired. I think I got to have my best players in the lineup. We need to make up four and a half games. So um, even if you're tired, you're going to be in there. And if someone gets injured, then so be it. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Here's the lineup today. Leading off is Lou Whitaker. Batting second and playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third and at first base is Jason Thompson. Batting cleanup and in left field is Steve Kemp. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting 7th and in center field is Tony Armis. Batting 8th and DHing is Carlton Fisk. And batting ninth, and at 3rd base is Richie Hebner. On the mound for the Angels is Bruce Keeson. Uh, he's 14-6. and six. He's lost his last three starts, including his last start, which was against Detroit, uh, where he gave up five runs in six innings. Uh, his ERA 339. Um, he's had more walks than strikeouts. And if you remember, he was on the All Star team this season uh, in the game. Uh, opponents are betting 237 against him. Three complete games. He's got a couple shutouts. So let's see if we can uh, take advantage of, of him once more. As Whitaker leads off the game with a base hit to right field. And uh, it's too early to be taking chances. So we let Whitaker have that base hit. And that means hit and run with Alan Trammell. Trammell gets a base hit under the glove of Lubrach at short. And now it's first and second. So uh, Jason Thompson's up next. He is listed as tired. He was 0 for 1 with two walks in the first game against Keeson. He's definitely a double play candidate. As he grounds it right to second. Oh, they can only get the runner at first. 
So Whitaker and Trammell hustling. So one down. Here's Steve Kemp, who is the other player listed as tired. And Kemp is going to pop it up on the infield. That's not going to get the run in. Two down for Lance Parrish, who had yesterday's game off. And Fisk played and had two errors as uh, Parrish pops it up on the infield. And we cannot capitalize on uh, the leadoff and follow-up single from Whitaker and Trammell. So disappointing. And let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Batting first and playing second base is Bobby Gritch. Batting second and DHing is Rod Carew. Batting third and at third base is Carney Lansford. Batting cleanup and at first base is John Harris. Batting fifth and at short is Steve Lubrach. Batting sixth and in left field is Don Baylor. Batting seventh and in right field is Dan Ford. Batting eighth and catching today is Daryl Miller. And batting ninth and in center field is Rick Miller. On the mound for Detroit, Dave Rosema. He's won six of his last seven starts. He's on fire right now. Uh, look at his ratings. It's, uh, he's at 90. Uh, this is his 25th start. He's only missed one start all season. 12-7 and seven with a 4.50. ERA is a little high, but he doesn't walk anybody. And he doesn't strike out anybody. Uh, he's given up 155 hits and 136 innings pitched. So opponents are betting 280 against him. And uh, he usually doesn't get past the sixth inning. So he has no complete games. Here's Bobby Gritch leading off against Rosma. He had a home run against him uh, in the previous series. As Gritch grounds it back to Rosma and he throws it away. So that's a bad start as Gritch is on first. Rod Carew up next. Gritch steals second base on Parrish. So runner in scoring position for Rod. We're going to pull the outfield in because his power is not so great. And we want to prevent it from uh, dropping in as he hits a really far fly ball uh, to the warning track. And Gritch will tag up and take third base. So one down. Here's Carney Lansford. We're going to play bat. Well, you know what? We're going to pull the infield in for this at bat. As Lansford grounds it to short... And the Tigers go home to get that runner from third. So two down. Lansford on first. Here's John Harris. And Lansford steals second base. So apparently Parrish cannot throw anybody out. And we know that um, Fisk has no arm. So um, should I walk? A I'm too early to w intentionally walk a lefty. And John Harris strikes out swinging. So we get through the first. Neither team scores. We go to the top of the second. Gary Hancock leading off. Hancock grounds it to short. And Lubrach has it for the first out. So one down. Tony Armis is up next. Armis hitting a little better of late as he pops it up to short. It's two down. And here's Carlton Fisk. Probably the biggest disappointment on the whole team as he hits it to right field and it's caught on the run by Dan Ford for the third out. So we go to the bottom of the second. Steve Lubrach leads off against Dave Rosma. And he hits a line drive right at Thompson. It's caught for the first out. So one down. Don Baylor up next. He was 0 for 3 in the first series. As he grounds to Thompson for the second out. Next up is Dan Ford. And Ford grounds to Thompson too. So all three plays were to JT. We go to the top of the third. No score. Number nine hitter, Richie Hebner up. And Hebner grounds it to second. Gritch has it for the first out. 
Next up is Lou Whitaker. Started the game off with a base hit. And he hits a high fly ball in the infield. Actually, it's on the outfield grass. There's two down. Here's Alan Trammell. Trammell grounds out to second. So, another 1-2-3 inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Daryl Miller leads off the inning. And Miller grounds it to Whitaker at second. There's one down. Next up is the lefty, Rick Miller. Miller strikes out swinging. That's two Ks for Rosma. With two down, back to the top of the lineup with Bobby Gritch. And Gritch grounds it to second. I thought it was going to get through. So another 1-2-3 inning for Rosma, who really is looking good. Uh, top of the fourth, JT leads off. He's 0-2, two, two walks against Keeson this year. And he strikes out swinging. So one down. Here's Steve Kemp. He strikes out swinging. Those are the two guys listed as tired. So maybe it's going to impact their, um, their hitting. A pair of strikes out to uh, end the trifecta there of strikeouts. So not a good inning as a 3, 4, and 5 hitter strike out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Rod Carew leading off. He rips it to right. It's caught on a line by Hancock. There's one down. Next up is Carney Lansford. Hits a pop fly straight up. Caught. No. Dropped by Hebner for the second error. So one down. Here's John Harris batting 130 versus righties. He rips it down the left field line. Gets all the way to the wall. Lansford scores. It's an unearned run as Harris gets himself a double. So one nothing, Angels. Runner on second. Steve Lubrach hits a high fly ball into the night. Long gone. So just like that, it's three to nothing. And we are in trouble as Baylor gets another hit up the middle. So, one out, runner in first. Dan Ford's up next. And they try to steal. This time they're caught. So, two down. Nobody on now for Dan Ford. And Ford strikes out looking. So, the damage is done. Angels lead three to nothing. And we can't do anything right as Hancock grounds it to the pitcher. One down. Here's Tony Armis. Grounds out to short. And here's Fisk. And he grounds out to short. So, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Only five hits total, but Tigers have given up a couple errors, which have led to these runs as Miller gets a hit to right. Daryl Miller, the catcher, which in turn brings up Rick Miller. He strikes out on a pitch way outside. So four Ks for Rosma. Bobby Gritch is up next. Oh, Daryl Miller gets picked off first by Rosma. And just like that, there's two outs. Bobby Gritch, as I said, is up next and he grounds it up the middle Trammell has it for the third out so we go to the six let's switch it over to the in-game stats which is just we haven't had a hit since our second batter of the game so Keeson's been in control we cannot hit we cannot pitch and we are, our defense is horrible as Hebner grounds to first one down Sweet Lou batting next Grounds it to third. Two down. And Trammell pops it up. So one, two, three inning. And we're in the sixth. Rose was at 87 pitches, was, which is about his max. But uh, I guess we may as well let him pitch here. As Carew gets a base hit to left. Probably a double. There you go. 
Carney Lansford's up next. He gets a base hit to left. That should score Carew. Nope, Carew has to hold at third. And uh, I guess we got to take out Rosma. It's the right thing to do. We're going to bring in Dave Rucker to try to get John Harris, a lefty on lefty action. Nobody out. There's a base hit to left. So that's four to nothing. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. And uh, we are definitely not in the same league as the first place teams, the Yankees and the Angels here. As they've kicked our butt pretty, pretty bad in these first two series. And if you look at the people they have on their team, I mean, who are some of these guys? As uh, Lubrach flies out to left for the first out. As uh, Roger Weaver's into the game now. Don Baylor gets a base hit into left. Lansford scores from second. Five to nothing. Dan Ford up next. He pops it up into foul ground on the first base side. Thompson has it for the second out. Here's Daryl Miller getting a base hit up the middle. Harris has to hold it third, so bases are loaded. And uh, here's the lefty, Rick Miller, but uh, I'm not. we're down five runs, I mean. Yeah, there you go. As <laughs> he walks, Rick Miller. And so there's the end of the inning as uh, Gritch grounds out. They put another three on the board, and it's 6 nothing. Top of the seventh, JT leads off. There's a base hit to left field. It's only the third hit of the game for Detroit. And they'll be wiped off the base with a double play. Next up is Parrish. And Parrish hits a blooper into center field. It falls in for a hit. Hancock strikes out looking. So we got two lefties due up. We're going to bring in uh, Keith Comstock to uh, try to redeem himself. He did not get one out in yesterday's game. And he still doesn't as Carew gets a base hit into center field. So that brings up Carney Lansford, who's batting 377 versus lefties, and he strikes out looking, so that makes no sense. One out, John Harris. He's a lefty. Grounds it to first. Could that be two? Nope. Carew safe at second. Two, to, two down. Gonna let Comstock pitch. And Lubrach hits a fly ball to right, which is caught for the third out. So to the top of the eighth, and we've got nothing going on. Tony Armis, he takes a walk. We're taking out Fisk. He sucks. Let Champ Summers, who equally sucks, uh, swing away. Probably a double play. Or a long fly ball into right center field. Oh, caught right at the fence. Almost out of here. So one down for Hebner. Keeson is tired now officially at 94 pitches. He's got a shutout going, so I don't, can't imagine they're going to take him out of the game. Sweet Lou's up next, and he's going to hit a fly ball into right center field. And that lands on the warning track. So Tigers can't take advantage of the uh, walk by Armis. And so we go to the bottom of the eighth. We're going to take out Comstock and uh, bring in Tobik. Tobik did not pitch in the Kansas City series, nor did he pitch in the first game of this series. So it's been a minute. And he walks the first guy right out of the gate. Awesome. That's awesome. 
as uh, Dan Ford grounds it to second. And they turn two. So a double play, which brings up Daryl Miller, who gets the 11th hit for the Angels, a double down the line, the right field line. So two outs for Rick Miller. And Miller strikes out looking. We go to the ninth. Down six runs. On the verge of being shut out with Trammell leading off the inning. And uh, I don't know what pitch that was. It was funky looking. A four-seamer. As uh, Trammell flies out to right. Thompson pops up. And that's going to leave it up to Kent Kemp. Here's Steve Kemp, full count. And he pops it up right to the catcher. And the catcher drops it. Because of course he did. And Parrish strikes out. So we lose 6 to nothing. Uh, probably the worst game of the whole season. I mean, we are desperate for a win. And we have put five runs up in the last three games. So we are in trouble. And uh, no notes uh, for, as far as transactions go. Let's uh, take a look at the standings. Yeah, we're five and a half games back. Lost three in a row. And uh, we are on the verge of stepping right out of the race. It's not over yet, but it don't look good, folks. So we lose six to nothing. Let's pull up the box score. We'll get out of here. I'll go drink myself into a coma after this terrible, terrible game. Um, let's see. Roseman takes a loss. He was not helped out by his defense. It's unfortunate for him. He goes five. He takes a loss. He's 12-8. and eight. Uh, The bullpen, uh, other than Rucker, not too shabby. Uh, Bruce Keeson gets his 15th win, redeeming himself from his last start. Complete game shutout. Good job by him. And Lou Brach gets his 12th home run. No extra base hits for Detroit. Two, more, <laughs> two errors. More, more grounding into double plays than they did uh, get extra base hits. So, All right, that's it for game two. We got two more games against the uh, Angels at Anaheim. So we'll be back tomorrow with the next game, game three. And until then, everyone, have a great night.